it's really good that local people have a say and the agencies that work in the local community and for the local community do come and engage with the public. I find it very interesting because it brings all the different groups together and there's a lot of um, information that you can get from, from coming here, the information you probably wouldn't get from anywhere else. I'm a true believer that in an economic kind of um, crash is what we've had, there are two things which grow. One's crime and one's community, and they can cancel one another out. So if you've got a really good community, you can actually reduce crime. What we try and do is really work close with our local community and, and local community groups and a lot of the agenda is very much led by what people want to raise. So we have a local person, Anne-Marie Pickup, who some of your readers and listeners and viewers may be aware of. Um, Anne-Marie is a really passionate community activist so she will make sure that the agenda is set with the neighbourhood manager to reflect the issues that people want to bring, whether or not they're around health, whether, whether or not around more support for young people and children, whether or not it's about crime. Um, we have agenda set of meetings where we're very clear that community priorities need to come first. Uh, I always come to these meetings when I can, see what's going on. It, it, allow, it allows us to like put up a stall and to advertise who we are and what we're doing. Yeah, it actually means that we can actually meet other passionate people in Salford who are passionate about their about their community and about the people that live with, and it actually brings it together. I'm Councillor Mould, I'm the councillor for the Earl Riverside uh, Ward. Uh, obviously I always come to the community committee because it's a great way to stay in touch with my residents and uh, hear their uh, concerns. Great, um, so can you tell us a bit about the community committee and what comes out of it? The community committee is a great partnership. Uh, we have lots of people here from lots of uh, different areas in East Salford, from lots of different residence groups, from both from councillors such as myself. We also have people here from Salix Homes and so on and so forth. And it's a great way to bring every, all the partners together so that when people do have a problem in the community, there's somebody there that may be able to provide a solution. We can share best practice with other community groups. Um, and people can air their concerns um, and then they can take those concerns away to the relevant parties and then the following meeting we come back, update people uh, and show how we're progressing and developing the community. I think, I think you know, having um, a system in place whereby you know, local people can influence what happens in their area you know, has to be the right democratic thing to do. And I think you know, this is obviously a very strong community committee here, I believe us. 70 or 80 people meet them tonight. Um, so yeah, absolutely, we support that. Um, if things aren't going on that you, things aren't going on that things should go on, you can uh, state your claim here. You know, everybody's uh, free speech. Everybody can um, put forward uh, views and so on. Yeah. Yes, I'm a regular visitor and participate regularly in the community committee. I'm also um, a member of the budget subgroup, so I sit on a panel of. Um, committees, if you like, um, where people devolve money to community groups for various projects throughout the year. One of the big issues we have at the moment is rubbish and disposal of rubbish, black bins and things like that. Uh, and I think that if we do things together we have better chance of getting problems solved. And it's something that we're always looking to get more members for. Um, from particular groups, um, you know, younger people, people maybe that are new to the community, people that maybe not been involved in community work before. So we'll say, give it a go if you want to come, ring us up beforehand, we can have a chat with you, we can talk through things. On some occasions, you know, we can we can sit next to you. Sometimes it can be a bit daunting in these meetings if people haven't come, but once you sit down and you, you really you really feel part of it. So I'd really want to encourage people to, to come and just have a have a go really, have their say.